Hello friends, this session we are going to talk about the roles and responsibility of technical architect and as well as solution architect in RPA. In, R in RPA usually technical architect uh, or, or solution architect they have to come up uh, with the years of experience minimum 5 and maximum 15 years. They are available in the junior solution architect and tech architect which means so how the roles and responsibility will be described in, in technical architect or solution architect so so in my organization usually how it will start from the role of tech arc the first level is when business team has to go and check with a particular client and the business has been come over and to particular organization in that case they are so w which means the statement of work sow has to be signed off that is the first step once the sow has been signed off for the particular deal with the particular client then process has been designed through process design document usually the business analyst or process architect will go and check with the to the particular clients business team and they are created a document step by step as his process how it will looks like once it has been completed and the process design document has been signed up by client then it will start with solution design document this solution design document preparation has to come up into the solution architect or, or the role of technical architect the both are the both of the road is remain same maybe the destination is different solution architect or technical architect when it's come to solution design document and technical design document the solution architect and the technical architect will sometimes solution design document and technical design document both come up with a only one architect which is having solution architect sometimes for big process solution design document created by solution architect and technical design document by technical architect or else technical lead so in that case when it comes to solution design document or once the completed of the pdt so what it happened the initial level is proof of concept For example, any deal or any business coming in to particular automation. So we have to start with proof of concept once the SOW has been signed off by client. PDD process design document has been signed off by client if these two concept has been completed then proof of concept figure to do or else POC for the particular automation for example client has web application automation in that case web application inside the Citrix for example so in that case we have to do POC for the particular application inside the Citrix so we have to capture 50 percentage of the fields for example so client wants to automate 20 pages for the or 20 fields to the particular application so in that case these 20 fields we will install rpa tool so in in initial scenario so maximum we will try in 
the fitting tool for example if it is inside citrix so basically we can use as a va path va path and we will capture all the fields which is having within the citrix and once the capture has been completely successful then poc is success then poc demo has to be shown to then POC demo has to be shown to particular client for the particular application. So once the POC has completed, then it starts with solution design document. So I already having video for yesterday, so you can look on it. Solution design document usually look like as his process as well as how automation will be run as a to be process as is and to be process if it is to be process so the diagram have so all the diagrams the first thing is all the diagram has to be shown of the particular deal and as well as how the process has been running currently flowchart has to be part of that as well as how automation will run automation running and licenses and deployment and risk this is the main important part risk and assumption for example suppose you are capturing suppose you have some applications so the application has to be remain same in three environments development testing and SIT as well as prod environment three in these three environments the application should be same if it is different if application should be same and behavior of the application should be same if behavioral changes is happened so in that case automation will be 50 percentage will be run or else the risk in 100 percentage bot will be failure so in that case we have to capture so what are all the risk is there and how we are assuming on it how the scheduling will be happened in this risk how scheduling will be happened multi bot or else single bot so what is the concept we are going to design so these all the details coming to the picture of std once std has been signed up by client then once the std has been created it has to be discussed with initially development team or else technical team the review has been completed then we have to walk through with client walk through with client the study walk through is a separate session we have to walk through once the study has been walked through with the client the client may be give some changes so we have to give commands to client so the changes has been whether adaptable or it has to be the or rejected or else we will these changes has to be applied in next version so these type of commands we have to give on it so once the study has been signed off then technical design document Usually technical design document most of the time is component levels for example for example in blue prism so how many pages and how many components and uh, with flowcharts how where the process start and where the process end 
where the component start and where the component end so these are all the things come into component level it will come into tdd once once the tdd has to be walked through with development team development team started to work with how the how the component has been designed maybe process process level and object level as well as split up pages level this split up has been happened to through development the development has initially become std level as well it will decide how the scheduling will happen and what is the level of bot multi bot or simple bot single bot if it is single bot then very easy because simply the queue concept and all that is not required much if it is multi bot the queue concept is required and exception handling is required to high level but a single bot as well the exception handling is required but the thing is if it has in, having multi bot exception handling business exception technical exception the level of exception we have to increase as high level for all the bots for example if file licenses are five bots has to be run in multi bot scenario that all the five exception handling the exception scenarios the business exception technical exception scenarios and the mail if any exception happened if it is business exception the mail has to send to a client customer email if it is technical exception it will it will has to send to technical team so this kind of references has to be done in exception levels so once it is completed it will be deployed it will be the development unit testing and sit and pre production and production after that production warranty period maybe 14 or 20 days will be happen so this this is the life cycle of the bot how we can start as initial level of process up to the deployment so thank you guys if you have any questions uh, let me know so we'll discuss it and if you see that uh, in nagri how they are uh, mentioning so the roles and responsibilities they are expecting strong platform knowledge as well as developer certification at least they are expecting developer certification and as well as their expectation is the application level maybe windows main prime rest api how the rest api we can declare in and web services how we can automate through oracle sql server database so these type of things they want to know usually the tech arts 90% they will know the sql server as well and oracle uh, how the interconnection between rpa bot and sql and servers so if it is multi bot how the servers has to be behave different and if it is single bot single bot the cluster environment so if it is if you going to sql server oracle with rpa bots the clustering server and the mirror servers has to be applied because uh, maybe if any disaster recovery happen the cluster servers are help and the mirror servers are help from any ha problem happen in one location the other location will be also in, if any data recovery is needed the cluster and mirroring servers are helping on it and also the strong problem and solving and analytic skill is required because if any of the problems happen for example so so when we are in project with uh, one of the client 
so we faced one issue so we have some so we completed some of the development and we are planning to test on it so in that case uh, when we try to put on it into the then our local machine it's working fine so when we moving into the their shared drive, client shared drive it's not working and the auto machine is failing again and again so so in that case when we check with the tech the finally we come up with a solution usually in shared drives in any automation anywhere box automation anywhere blueprints any box it has to be maximum the length of shared drive should be 244 if it is more than 244 shared drive length for example c colon some some network drive some is a drive or else with inside the client name some of the files are available so if you want to copy or paste or accessing that files that file name including the path should be 244 characters for example c colon test a slash test one so this entire character length should be 244 so finally we identified after a day of work so in the, some of the critical situation may be happened and strong analytic skills is needed for technical architect also communication skill is very important also the quality conscious and coding code review so developers are developed and uh, technical architects are solution architects they have to review the code and they have to certify this code has been as expected by client and this has to be the formula of rpa so they have to certify on it also they have to be analyze design they have to coordinate with the development team they have for implementation they have to check for all the implementation issue as well as they have to understand all the business requirements this is very important thing as a solution or technical architect thank you guys in next studio we can we can run through some of the deep dive for this uh, solution architect and technical architect perspective thank you